my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a whiteboard during your Google Meet meetings. Now, the first thing you'll have to do is open up Google Meet. Now, the whiteboard we're going to be using within Google Meet is Jamboard. And there is a full integration between the two, so you can open up a Jamboard from right within your Google Meet. So let's have a look at that. We've got Google Meet open in our browser and let's create a new meeting. So I'm going to go and click on join or start a meeting and we're going to give this meeting a nickname. Now, nicknaming your meetings is always good practice. It makes it easy for others to find and join that meeting and it also automatically expires the meeting when everyone has left that room. So let's go ahead and give it a nickname. We're going to call it Whiteboard in Meet. And then we're going to click on continue. And there we go, we have our preview of our meeting. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I am going to turn off that microphone and we're going to join the meeting. Now in this meeting, you will immediately see that I get that nickname there at the top, Whiteboard in Meet. I can share that with my student and then they can easily join our meeting. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to close this and open up a student demo account. In my demo account now, I can simply click on that plus and then type in whiteboard in meet. That's the nickname given to that meeting. So let's go ahead and join this meeting. Our student will also get a preview. Now I'm going to turn off the camera for the student and the microphone to avoid any feedback. So let's go ahead and join that meeting. As you can see, the student sees my camera feed and me as a teacher, I can see that the student has joined the meeting but not turned on their camera. Now it's time for us to collaborate on a whiteboard and so let's go ahead and do that now. Here at the bottom I now have three dots. When I click on those three dots one of the options available there is to open up a whiteboard. So let's go ahead and click on that whiteboard. Now underneath whiteboard you see it says open a jam and that's because we are using Jamboard. So when we click on that we get two different options. We can either choose from Drive, and that's an existing Jamboard already on our Drive. So you can go ahead and prepare your Jamboard before you start your meetings. Or we can simply start a new whiteboard, and then this will create a brand new file. And this file is shared with everyone in this meeting. So here you can see it is asking me for permission. Do I want to give the people in this meeting permission to this new file? And what type of permission do I want to give them? Do I want to give them full editing rights or viewing rights? I'm going to give them editing rights and then click send. And there we go. It opens up a whiteboard. That whiteboard is available to anyone in this meeting if I've given them the editing rights. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to just draw two horizontal lines and then we're going to jump into our student preview. This is the student account and as you can see in the top right corner, the chat has a notification. And that's because in that chat there is now a notification that there is a jam or a whiteboard available. So when they click on that link, it opens up the whiteboard in a separate tab and then they have access to everything I share on that whiteboard. Now because I've given them editing rights, they can also add to this whiteboard. So let's go ahead and add some lines as a student. The student is going to use green is going to draw two vertical lines. Now when I jump back to my teacher, I will see that as a teacher, the student has joined and drawn those lines. Now this is an amazing product to use and because of that close integration with Google Meet, it makes it super easy to on the fly open up a Jamboard and simply annotate or draw an explanation onto that whiteboard. However, if you already have a number of Jamboards available, you can use this functionality to share these Jamboards within a Google Meet. I hope you found this helpful. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.